Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about what are widgets and sidebars and in this video we are going to learn about how to register them. Now as I've already explained sidebars are basically any areas that contain widgets. So let's register the sidebars. So how do we register it? In order for us to register the sidebar all we have to do is call the function called register sidebar and then hook it to the widgets in it hook. So what we're going to do is we will go ahead and go to our theme and we're going to create a class called sidebars. We're going to register two sidebars, one for the single post that goes on the right hand side of the page and then there's one that goes in the footer. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this class file so that I don't have to type everything all over again and I'm just going to get rid of all of these functions I don't need them even this one and then I'm just going to rename this to sidebars and then I'm going to write over here that registers sidebars theme sidebars okay and then over here I'm going to do an add action add action oops and this will be on widgets init hook we're going to hook our custom function and since we, we are inside of the class I'll use this and the name of the function so this custom function name would be register sidebars you can keep the name what you want but I'm keeping it as register sidebars uh, notice that this register sidebar so this function we can also use to register multiple sidebars but this is not the WordPress function why because this is my class function so uh, WordPress won't recognize this because this is coming from the class so no, don't get confused with that this is our custom function public function public function and then register sidebars okay and inside of this I will go ahead and use this function which is register sidebar and I'll put it here and since we're going to be registering two of them I'll put one more I could have used register sidebars function since I'm registering two sidebars so I just want to show you how that works so this is register sidebars function so if you take a look at the example if you call register sidebars and you pass two into it it will create two sidebars uh, and it will dynamically pass the value over here to one and two so it will create two sidebars foobar one and foobar two you can also pass uh, different parameters over here that goes inside of it as an array uh, now since we are going to be having some change in parameters for each of the sidebars that's why I'm not using the register sidebars function I'm just going to use the register sidebar and just call it a couple of times like I have done here okay so let's name these so I'm gonna name this as just sidebar which is going to be my main sidebar of the theme and then the text domain which is Aquila and then we'll call it sidebar1 and then inside of this I'll just make it div so if you take a look over here it takes different parameters one is the name of the sidebar so this is the name of my sidebar and then this is the ID which must be in lowercase which is this right here and then then you have the description so I'm not using any description but you can add if you want it takes also the class I'm not using any class in fact I think let's use the description main sidebar Aquila that's it and then it says before widget so the HTML that is place before every widget will be this okay and then after widget and this is the HTML that will go after the widget so let's make it div closing div 
Uh, this will go before the title. So you can see that it says HTML that is placed before the title of each, each widget. So this is going to go before the title. So let's say the widget title is uh, text widget. So it's going to be wrapped inside of this H3 tag. Okay, same goes here as well. So I think I can just copy paste. Okay, and then I'm just going to change this to square bracket because I like that for an array. Again, I'll copy paste this. Okay, so this is my sidebar and uh, I'm going to give it the class of widget sidebar. Okay, and then for the second one, I will name it as footer and I can probably say that footer sidebar and let's give it an ID of sidebar 2 and then I can add some extra classes over here widget footer and then cell and then column okay I can just use these extra classes and then all I have to do is just call this function inside of my main theme file which is this I'll come in over here and I'll call sidebar get instance that's it and then I'll go to my WordPress dashboard I'll, I'll go to appearance and then I will click on widgets and there you go I've got sidebar which is my main sidebar and this is my footer sidebar currently it's empty because it doesn't have any widgets but I can add widgets inside of it so let's say I want to add title widget over here I can give it a name like widget title and then content will be or maybe I can just say this is my text widget lorem ipsum this is my description and then I can save it like this and I can have a couple more so maybe I can have let's say calendar over here let's move it down I can drag and drop let's give it a title as calendar save it I can have the tag cloud so I can do tags and it's gonna pick up the tags from taxonomy or even I can have categories or whatever I want to basically okay so let's save it alright and for footer I can have archives I can have okay so I'll put archives it asks you whether you or not you want to show a display drop down show post count you can do that and save it I can have recent comments so I'll add that as well recent comments how many comments do you want to show like five of them I'll do that and save it that's it so now